Hello, this is the coding teacher and I'm here to teach you how to code. We're going to get started today building a uh, very basic kind of hello world node and express server and I'm going to try to explain very in a very summarized way um, everything that you need to know about node in order to get to that point. So I started by deleting everything that I had in my project and I actually did switch computers as well. Um, so all I have, all I kept is pretty much this uh, my style.css file and my index.html but I am going to delete all the JavaScript programming that I did there before. Um, I just don't want to have to rebuild all this layout. That's kind of a pain in the neck. And I am not entirely unhappy with how it looks. So I am going to be starting from scratch though, everything else other than that layout. So here we go. I'm going to start by clearing my screen. And the first thing I'm going to say is npm init. And what that does is it initializes the current folder which I already am located in the current folder this is the, the same folder where I'm coding and uh, this initializes the, the current folder as a node project and what that means is that it'll create a package.json file uh, I don't know why it's doing this there we go normally it just responds right away but anyway uh, by initializing this uh, project, it, what it did was this, it created a package.json file and there's three kind of main things to look out here, to look out for here. I usually do like to create, um, if you want you can configure description and you can change the version too and stuff like that. That The only time I've ever seen use for that is when I'm using PhoneGap to build these into mobile applications. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh yes, so I'm going to change the name of the main entry point uh, file from index.js to server.js. I may or may not get to using some scripts and I am going to install right now my first uh, package. So npm install save. You can either write the full word install or just say i save express and what this is doing is installing the, the express node module and express is kind of like a library to write your own node servers it's one of the most popular ones and look what happened here this dependencies object got added because I installed it by saying npm I save so when you do save you're basically instructing npm to update package.json with the dependencies with whatever dependencies you're installing and you could you could have installed multiple things um, at the same time just like this but I, I I prefer to do it one at a time so we know what's what so now I'm going to create my server file and the first thing I'm going to do here is create a constant um, I'm going to call it express and I'm going to use the common JS syntax to require the express module I just installed uh, and all this is doing is it's creating this constant called express. Think of a constant just a, like it's a variable that can't change. And it's uh, basically loading the module express and putting it into this constant. And then I'm going to create an app object. And that's going to be the result of running this guy as the function that's the return value of this. Then I'm going to create a port, 298 and then I'm going to configure the server so that it can accept get requests at its root URL and send back a hello world. Now how do we do that? We do app.get uh, slash and then function request response and in here rest.send hello world. So the way that I think of this is, uh, is basically you're configuring your application to accept GET requests to this URL and when it gets a GET request to this URL it's going to execute this function and this is the basic you know gist of programming a server you, you're configuring it so that it, if it gets a POST request to this URL then it runs this function and you can have a bunch of these app.get, app.post, app.put and so on calls and all of the what all of those all they're doing is simply configuring your server so it can accept requests at a certain URL and send back a response. And then finally, how do we actually fire the server up and, and make it, you know, be on a listen state so we're, 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 so that so that it can actually answer to these requests? We just say app dot listen, and then we put the port there, and we can have a callback here so that uh, we can notify the console that yeah, you know, that the server is listening. It's it's usually a good idea to do that um, serve 
server listening on port port there we go all right so um all we're doing here again is loading express instantiating a web application defining a port configuring a web application to accept get request to the root url so this is going to be whatever the server name is slash nothing and then when it receives a request to just the server name slash nothing it's going to run this function and the function just sends back the response hello world and then we finally um, make the server listen on port uh, 2998 so let's go ahead and try that out if we go here um, it, nothing happens because I didn't actually start the server so how do we start the server we issue the command node server.js and now the server is listening and then we got our hello world so if I keep refreshing I get hello world again um, that's it for this video next time we're going to be making our, our own lives easier by installing nodemon uh, which is a little program that live that reloads the server every time you make changes to it